Hi, my name is John Kraljic. I live in Camarillo, California. I live with my wife, Kelly, and son, Joey. We have another child on the way. I'm uh, currently serving active duty in the Navy at Point Magoo as a Chief Aviation Machinist Mate, and I brew root beer. I named my root beer Swagger because I've always liked the name. You know, if someone has swagger, they have confidence and they're proud in what they do, so I think that sums up the root beer. The first time I remember having root beer is actually sarsaparilla in this uh, little western town in Scottsdale, Arizona called Rawhide. And it was in a glass bottle and you know just walking up and down the streets of dirt roads and stuff it felt cool being a kid with a you know a glass bottle of sarsaparilla i like how it's really sweet and how every root beer every one you have is different you never have two that are alike so i like the uniqueness of it it's very earthy it's made from roots i like cigars and some people are like how can you tell the difference between one cigar from another or i guess it could be the same as wine you know but when you taste it, I like to just, it's not something you want to gulp, it's not something that I think, oh, I'm going to quench my thirst with root beer, it's just something I get in a small quantity and enjoy and actually try to figure out what's in it. I've always uh, liked picking up hobbies. My wife says I got a different hobby every month, but this one stuck a while, and uh, she knows I love root beer, and she would bring it back from the store, and then occasionally it slowed down, so I figured I've always wanted to brew uh, beer, and root beer is essentially the same thing, so I started brewing it myself, and now I have a steady uh, amount on tap, so I got five gallons at a time on draft whenever I want it, so it's readily available. Brewing root beer is pretty much three steps. It's uh, setting up, brewing, and then bottling. You've got to set up all your ingredients, get the appropriate quantities, measure out your sugar, your roots, uh, your extracts, whatever you're gonna use. And when I make my sarsaparilla, I use the licorice root and sarsaparilla. When I make my root beer, it's sassafras, uh, licorice, and burdock. And then one critical thing is to sanitize all your gear. Everything that's gonna come in contact with your, your brew, you wanna sanitize it with a, like a bleach solution because if you don't, you get wild yeast and bacteria that can also give you off flavors or smells in it, so, especially when you're fermenting with yeast. So. You wanna make sure everything's sanitized, then you're gonna get your water, and the, whatever quantity you're gonna make of a brew, you're gonna put half of that in the pot, your stock pot. You're gonna simmer that, and then add your roots, and that's called your wort. Now, as you simmer that, you're gonna simmer it for about half an hour, stir it occasionally, and keep the, the stock pot lid on top. Once that's simmered for 30 minutes, you're gonna set it aside, for another 30 minutes, let it get down to room temperature. And then after the 30 minutes is done, you're gonna add your sugar, your extracts, mix that in and drain uh, through a strainer. You're gonna strain out all the roots and uh, make sure that all the sediment or anything left over is drained and filtered through into a bottling bucket. If you're gonna use yeast, once it gets down to about around 80 degrees, you pitch in your rehydrated yeast and then you can bottle in either bottles or you can put in a five gallon Cornelius keg like myself and use uh, CO2 tanks to force carbonate it. If you use yeast, you're gonna wanna ferment it for about three days to get the appropriate carbonation. Once the bottles are firm, I suggest using plastic bottles so you don't have the risk of a cracked bottle. You can uh, judge about three days. Once they're firm, you put it in the refrigerator. That'll stop the fermentation process, and then in a couple days, you can enjoy your brew. The first time I ever tried to brew anything, it was, a, it was I was gonna try a ginger ale. I got some ginger root from the grocery store and stuff, and that came out horrible. I, I don't know, I messed up a lot of bit, uh, things with that. Then I tried an extract, but it wasn't my own recipe, so I wanted to make something that was my own, so I went for the real root. I went to the local grocery stores, health food stores, and no one had sarsaparilla or sassafras or licorice root, the stuff I was looking for. So I looked online, and one of the websites I came across, Monterey Bay Spice Company, had every one I was looking for, and their prices were really decent. So uh, they're local, the shipping was quick, and I've used them ever since. Being married and having a small son at home, you know, I like to spend my time with him during the day, so I find myself brewing mostly late at night. And I think it was the weekend that I uh, emailed Scott over at Monterey Bay Spice Company with a question re in regards if the roots were already rinsed. So this would save me time in my brewing process so I wouldn't have to do it. I sent an email out. It was uh, off hours, late in the evening, during the weekend. And I think within an hour later, I was pleasantly surprised that I had a reply. So it was after normal, you know, typical business hours and I had a reply, which really impressed me with their customer service. I started the blog, uh, the Swagger Root Beer blog, because I found that there wasn't a lot out there to help people that were looking to start brewing their own root beer, so I started my own blog to try to help others. As long as I'm making root beer, I'll keep put posting on there and helping other people. Yeah, when I'm enjoying my uh, root beer in the back, you know, I'm, 
it's kind of forced relaxation. My wife's always telling me whenever I'm home, I'm running around doing other stuff, you know, fixing the cars, fixing this or that. So when I got my root beer and, you know, cigar out on the back porch, it just, you know, forced relaxation. I can't do anything else. I just like to sit back there and enjoy the day. My son, he's uh, 19 months old now, and about a few months ago, I was drinking some of my homemade uh, sarsaparilla, and he came up and dipped his finger, and he, he loves it, so he couldn't come back, and he's like, mmm, mmm, makes that noise, keeps coming back for more, so. And maybe when my son grows up a little older, I won't have to brew it myself anymore. Maybe he'll take it on, you know, he'll take on the, the hobby then, and then I can sit back and just enjoy it, but I'll teach him how to brew root beer, just like I'm teaching him how to change, shit, you know, wheels on cars and working on engines, so he's my little boy. I enjoy making root beer just because it's it's my own, you know, it's something I can be proud that I made, it's unique, it smells great, it's traditional, it's, you know, I think it's Americana and then like you go to local soda shops down here and you see all the root beers and stuff, it's a big deal and a lot of people are making it so I just wanted a piece of that and make my own.